Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today's video is a little bit special for those of you that are like veteran viewers You know what account this is. Mr. Iron Bar, the OG old school RuneScape Iron Man Anyways, as you all know, Raids is going to be coming out on January 5th Which is less than a week from now, so it's almost there And of course, this would be a great time for my normal Iron Man to shine once again on this channel so rates will be the highest level PVM content that Old School has to offer once it comes out. So the normal Iron Man will be making a return for rates, and I want to make sure everybody is up to date on the normal Iron Man so that when I do start doing rates on this account, you guys know exactly what this account has and just how prepared it is for rates. So to start off, let's go ahead with the skills. So as you can see, this account has 2k plus total, which is pretty high most of my skills are in the 80s and 90s a few are in the 70s and hunter you know it's pretty newbie but it's all right i should be okay in terms of skill requirements for most of raids and this account is very pvm focused as you can see most of my comment stats are pretty much 99 and slayer as well and let's go on to the quest i have all the quests done on here the quest cave is super useful nowadays so you know i got this a long time ago so we're all set on that department so a lot has changed since my first ever bank video that I did for this Iron Man, but let's get right into the bank. So the first tab you'll be seeing is my primary tab. All the items that you see in this first tab is items that I use super often. So my bank is slightly disorganized, so bear with me. I'll just go from left to right and then, you know, go down the rows. So starting off, we got some skill capes and capes that I use a lot in general. So Slayer Cape, Magic Cape, Strength Cape. And a lot of these items on the top is like my teleports and my tools for like PVMing and traveling. So yeah, we got uh, quite a bit of dragon axes and dragon pickaxes. And a lot of these items are wilderness rewards that I can use for like teleports and whatnot. I got a feral scepter here as well for some more teleports. And further down the line is all of my main PVM items. So I have a bunch of rings here for combat, pretty much all the rings that you could possibly uh, want to use for combat. So we got the Suffering, mainly for Zora, the Treasonous Ring, you know, to go along with uh, stabbing weapons. And Sears, Berserker, Warrior Ring, and I got the Fury as well. And I have all the Cerberus boots, so these are the best boots that, you know, is available in the game. So I got all three styles. Barrel's Gloves, we got a Fire Cape here. And this world here is all my important melee weapons that I'll possibly ever need for PVM. So I got the Giant Warhammer, the Seradom and Godsword, both the Normal and the Tentacle Whip. I have the Hasta and the Bludgeon. And down here are some uh, helmets that I use a lot, Tanzanite Helmet, the Slayer Helmets. Oh, the Dwarven Helmets for my Giant Warhammer specs. And we got some uh, more Dragon Armor. I use these sometimes. And I have pretty much the best ranged weapons that I possibly ever need. So the Armadillo Crossbow, the Blowpipe. And down here is just my uh, range equipment, so we got the dehyde stuff. I don't have armor though yet, I'm going to pursue that later on. And we got Robin Hood with the Archer's Ring and the Anguish Necklace with Carols. And here is my main melee armor stuff, so we got the full bandos and some of the barrels items that I actually use a lot. So like full guppins, the V-skirts, uh, my arrows top and bottoms the wilderness shields as well so we got magic gear down here as well so like occult necklaces and the trident of the swamp and down here i have some other weapons that i use sometimes so we got like art light we got like the crystal halberd crystal bowl uh abyssal dagger and all those things and we got some uh, food here that i use very often and some potions that I, I use a lot when i travel so you know staminas and like super energies and we got full graceful and some uh, extra teleport charges and that's about it for the primary tab all these other things are pretty self-explanatory so let's move on to the resource tab so as the name suggests most of my resources are pulled in here so we got a lot of the gems a lot of crafting supplies that i haven't used up yet lots of uh, bolts that i've just gone over time you know from stuff like wyverns tons of uh, gold bars because i was trading my smithing a lot and tons of ores from mainly pvm Lots and lots of freaking coal, iron, uh, even runite. Lots of bones as well. Definitely get around to using these because more prayer the better. Some insole heads. Uh, quite a bit of planks. The ones I haven't used is stuff from like bossing mainly that I got from like Zora. Lots of logs. And yeah, mainly this is from Kingdom. Most of these is like from PVMing and whatnot. This is actually obviously from just cutting 
the red logs. I actually have a lot of unstrung bows that I, you know, AFK fletched uh, every now and then, and yeah, some more supplies like the grapes and lobsters and whatnot. And this tab here is just basically my main potions and herbs and like farming tab. So I've got tons of herbs all across the board, all the way from like, you know, Guam to the best torso. And tons of potions. I'm really stocked on all these. So if I ever need to make potions, I got the herbs and basically the secondaries to do all that. So still have a lot of seeds. I used to farm a lot, but of course, um, Slayer just keeps on giving. So yeah, I haven't got around to it. And yeah, tons of tree seeds, fruit tree seeds, mainly from Kingdom and Zora. So these aren't as important, so let's move on to the fourth tab. So the fourth tab is just like my runes and extra teleports and tools. So yeah, pretty much a lot of runes for just about everything. Combat runes I am pretty damn stocked on, as you can see. Lots of teleports, man, that I don't normally use, but you know, I save them just because I probably will use them every now and then. And all the other miscellaneous tools, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So let's start off the tab with the Smoldering Stone. This is meant for a Master Clue, just in case I ever get one that requires the Infernal Axe. We got some Champion Scrolls, some Jars, uh, some Zora leftover items. I probably will dismantle them when I need the scales. And uh, some leftover God Wars items. This is mainly from Saradum, as you can see, five Saradum and Swords. And I got a ton of Barrels items. So I've done a thousand and one Barrels chests. And yeah, these are pretty much all the Barrels items that I've gotten from it. Pretty average, I think. And we got some black dehyde from like freaking hard clues, tons of these at this point. And a lot of dragon items from just about anything, Slayer or maybe even some bossing, yeah. And I got some leftover wilderness shield charges. And these jewelry is just from like clue scrolls and whatnot. And these are leftover DK's items, so I have leftover DK's rings of course. And uh, lots of rune items from Slayer that I normally alk a lot of when I need cash. So. It looks like I don't have much cash, right, with 600k, but no, I have a lot of cash in Alkables, okay? Like, look at these freaking air battle stabs. This is like 40 mil plus. And uh, yeah, I have probably like another 30 mil somewhere lying around from mouse. But yeah, I'm pretty all set on money if I ever need those. But this is from crafting, of course, when I was uh, going for like Fury and whatnot. And down here is just like some ammunition and some demonic gorilla items uh, that I've gotten from PVM and whatnot. And this tab is just like used to be my clue tab, but I put most of the items already into the uh, hidey hole, so I don't have them anymore in the bank. That's good though, save a lot of bank space. And of course, this for red trousers, I got these recently for master clue as well. And uh, this is my clue scroll rewards tab, uh, pretty decent. I started getting a lot of uh, the new boots recently on here. And we got a lot of god armor, of course, a lot of medium and easy clue rewards as well. And this tab isn't that special. It's just like items that I might need in the future, but like I've never touched in a long time. So I just leave it here just in case. And yeah, here's some like actively used resource items. So I have a ton of food, okay? A lot of people ask me why I don't go AFK fishing or something on the raw Iron Man. I'm not a big fan of multi-logging anyways, but... You know, if I really needed to, I would, but I don't. So I have tons of supplies. I'm all set on like food and all that stuff. And the final tab is just my pets tab. I don't really have crazy amount of pets, but a decent amount. You know, my Kelphite Queen, um, the Hellhound pet, Celiana pet. These are actually really rare pets, so that's pretty cool. I also got a Rocky later on as well, even though my Thieving's not that high, so I got pretty lucky on the Rocky. And yeah, this isn't a pet, and this isn't a pet. I just decided to put it here just you know, to troll people. But yeah, that's it with the bank basically. Quick recap, right? The main tabs here, all these items. Looks beautiful, right guys? And of course the PVM tab. So let me clarify when the normal Iron Man will make a full return. Even though it's coming back for raids, it's not a full return because the normal Iron Man will make a complete return when the hardcore Iron Man dies. So it's as pretty straightforward as it gets. If this hardcore dies, there's really no reason for me to play on this account anymore since it'll just be a normal Iron Man. And as far as I'm concerned, I already have a normal Iron Man where I can just do normal Iron Man playstyle. So I'd rather just go back to, you know, my original one, right? So hope that makes sense. So I think I'll have enough clips for episode 25 of the Hardcore series within two days. And let me tell you what I got right now shows that this is going to be one of the best episodes I've had so far on this series. So definitely look forward to that. 
and thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care.